Got my foam up there, yeah. So this lighting looks pretty good, but this thing is very bright. So I'm gonna try some lighting uh, changes, see what works best for this. One thought is just having a light right behind me. Hey, this is not bad either. It's very dramatic. Mm. Ah, that's not bad. It's really not bad. Gives it a little more light in the backdrop. So this. Ah! <laughs> so this versus this. I don't know. You can tell me which one you like better. What is up guys? My name is Alex Caves and welcome to another Studio Cage Daily. Today's Monday. Happy Monday everybody. December 10th is the date. Today's agenda is to keep working on this back wall. As you can see, it is starting to look way cool and uh, it's really highlighting this back wall. So what I want to do today is to keep adding more stuff to it to make it look more badass. <laughs> Let me give you guys a bit of backstory on the stuff that is on the wall. First and foremost is the bike. This is actually the bike I used to ride across the country. Back in 2012 with this group called Bike and Build. So we started off from the East Coast, rode all the way to the West, and uh, we stopped at various uh, Habitat for Humanity and actually built homes uh, as well as fundraise for affordable housing. Tons of fun, dude, I, I'd recommend you do it. I kept the frame to use it as a trophy piece. This was the flag that stayed with me most of the way. Ukulele is uh, something I got into the first time I went to Hawaii. I also got this little bookmark from Hawaii the last time I went, which was in August. Um, this is actually a dog tag of my grandpa who went to World War II. Jefferson Caves. Tassel from high school. Babe Ruth jersey from back in the day. And then number three is my favorite number, so. These two are from the Grand Caymans. We went, I think, two years ago. That is a blow dart from uh, Costa Rica. This is the keychain from Brazil last December where I went to visit my friend Noichi. This is also from the same trip, different country. This is from Peru, a little llama keychain. This is a little piggy bank from Japan, actually. This was mine um, from when I was a child. I moved here when I was seven, so I've had that for most of my life, actually. Pretty impressive, I would say. Dreamcatcher, something I bought in, uh, I believe, Arizona during this bike and build trip. North Eugene emblem, this is, uh, from my high school, varsity baseball team. And these koi kites, they are kites. And these are mine from, again, my childhood. This is uh, my first backpack design. Yeah, I, I don't wanna go into full detail about it, but yeah, so that's the majority of the wall right now. And I got a few more things that I want to put up. These are the pieces that I'm thinking of putting up on the wall. This one here is a, a bicycle accessory product that I designed. The Lego piece is, is something I made way back when, when I was like 17. Uh, these two wooden boxes are Japanese. This is my very first machining project in high school. These two are the projects that I worked on at Imagination International. And then this is a flask from being a groomsman for my my buddy Josh. But yeah. Alrighty guys, busted out the Etochrone and the 50 mil. Hope you guys enjoyed that B-roll. It was really fun filming it. I think the wall's looking pretty good. I'm gonna call it a day though, because uh, it took me a while to do the B-roll shots. It's getting late. So 
Here at Studio Caves, we're constantly self-reflecting, improving what we do, and sharing our story along the way. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already because that helps me out a ton. If you like this video, please click the like button. Alrighty guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace.